guys, I've been doing the Real Care Baby Project and let me tell you, it is so, so tiring. Um, but I know a lot of you guys do this for school and I wanted to give some tips and tricks so you can successfully pass this project, no stress, no anxiety. So, that first night when I had baby, I had her in a sleeper with buttons and <laughs> she cried like three times that night for her diaper to be changed. And I had to unbutton all the buttons and try and get her leg out and then change her diaper. So she's screaming, she's totally angry with me. And so I've learned that the be one of the best things if you're trying to do this quickly but make her cute is put your baby in something that's super easy to get to the diaper. So she's in just a dress and some bloomers and it takes about 30 seconds to change her diaper right now. And I think also like a onesie or one of those sleeper sacks, anything like that would be really easy to change their diapers rather than a sleeper. So I know for Real Care Baby 3s, a lot of teachers put a sensor in the car seat in the back of the baby's head and your teacher can tell how long baby has been in the car seat. So if you can, it's the middle of the night, you're super tired and trying to do a feeding with baby, set her somewhere up against like maybe some pillows, somewhere where her head's supported and maybe she's at a slight angle, something like maybe like this, and then with a blanket, with the blanket, go ahead and prop the bottle and rest it on her lips. And every now and again, just jiggle her the bottle and you can try and get some Z's or a little bit of a nap and she should be fine. Just remember to jiggle her a little. And that way it looks like she wasn't in the car seat and you can not be so involved because I know you're really tired. So my baby has been really, really fussy and she will cry to be just held and rocked for 40 minutes at a time at like every couple hours. This is the thing I do the most for her. I think she's about to, she's about to show you guys how fussy she is. Are you hungry? Oh, we're just hungry. but. I, what I would suggest is if you have little siblings who had like a little baby swing or a baby rocker and it still works or you can find one used for really cheap at a yard sale, get that because you can just turn it on and then baby will be rocked and moved. You can even prop the bottle up with that. And that would be, I'm really sad I didn't get one, but I do have a broken bouncer that I put her in when she gets fussy. And I just slowly, every few seconds, I'll just bounce it a little. And she's good to go. So you don't have to rock her for long periods of time. And that's really useful in the middle of the night. <laughs> Another more obvious thing is always try to support her head, whether that's by keeping it up like this or always having her in the crook of your arm. Always try and support that head. When I did this project in high school, my teacher would get super more upset if she saw abuse or the head support. Um, in the program itself, that'll only knock you down three points. I think my teacher would knock you down like 10 or 15 points if she saw that. So always try to be gentle, keep these away from your pets, keep these away from any, like your younger siblings and stuff like that. Just and try to support the neck. <laughs> but it's not as stressful as it seems. So they are not that sensitive. It takes quite a bit of effort for her head to drop back. So you should be good. Just try to keep that hand near there. So baby started to cry, you've ID'd her, 
and you're freaking out because you can't find the bottle. It fell down the table. Um, from the moment you ID baby, you have two minutes to give baby the care that she needs. And while two minutes seems like a really short amount of time, it's actually kind of long when you're going through it. So try not to stress, get that bottle. And I feel like even when I'm the most stressed, it only takes me about 30 seconds from the time I ID her to grab the bottle, grab the new diaper and give her the care she needs. So don't worry too much about neglecting the baby. It's all gonna be okay. See, it's all gonna be okay. Then my next tip is, even though it's not always aesthetically pleasing, try to keep her ID, her bottle, her diapers, everything she needs really close to her, whether that's in a diaper bag that's next to her car seat or in her car seat or whatever. Try to keep that stuff really close to her so that you are not wasting those precious two minutes you have trying to get her stuff. And you can just go, boom and then put the bottle to her mouth and everything's good. My last and most important tip is to remember to try and stay calm. If you have to, leave the room, count to 10, scream into a pillow. I know this is stressful. I know being up all hours of the night and trying to keep this thing from crying is really stressful but do what you have to do to remain calm and make sure you pass this test i'm sure all of you are gonna do fine and thank you for watching i hope these tips not only help students but anybody who's just a crazy person and running this doll for no reason like i am have a great day guys love you